In today's episode, I'm going to tell you all the things that I don't like about my show. Yes, this is going to be analogous to, I got a lot of problems with you people. Welcome to Everyday and New Thought. I'm Thor Chalgren. Today, I want to tell you all of the things that I don't like about my show. This is now the 60th episode. I'm now starting my third month of this show. And I'm going to tell you some of the things that I don't like about the show and why I kept doing it anyway. So you might ask me, like, Thor, why would you tell me the things that you don't like about your show? To prove a point. And this is a point I'll get to in a second. But back when I started in 2022, I knew that I had all these things that I wanted to do with this show. And, you know, when you start something new, you can imagine like it's going to be this amazing thing and all the things that you want to do. I'm going to do this. It's going to be this. I'm going to do this. But could I do all of those things? No, absolutely not. And in the beginning, once I realized that I couldn't do all of those things, there's this place where you get a little bit discouraged because you start to go, well, I, I imagine it being like this great, but really it's only like a little bit great. And so that, I remember that somewhere like the first week or two, I started to become aware of the things that I didn't like. For instance, at first I didn't like the opening. There were ways that I languaged it. And I remember when I wrote it and then recorded it, I thought, oh, that can be better. I'll, I'll fix that one day. But then when I would hear it every day that I recorded it or that I edited it, I, I just kept going, I don't like that. And you know what? I'm not sure I still do, but I didn't let that become the reason that kept me from kept uh, continuing to go. I also didn't like how much time it took. It seemed like it was a very time consuming thing to do. I figured out some ways to make that less time consuming. But in the beginning, that was another thing that in my head, I'm thinking, oh, this isn't this isn't good. And, and what, what's happening is I'm starting to my brain is starting to catalog all the reasons why I should quit. I also didn't like the limited marketing time I had for it. I'm generally pretty good as a marketer. I come up with good ideas and I knew there were all these things I wanted to do. But I also knew I wanted to eat and I wanted to sleep. <laughs> I wanted to have some semblance of a life. So again, it's one more thing where I'm, I'm building up this list of things that, that don't satisfy, satisfy me about the process. But despite all that, I continued on anyway. And I, I decided that the process was going to be to iterate, to make small improvements over time. For example, now I have a subscribe button on the YouTube version of the show. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you should see this. You'll see it down in the corner. If you're listening to the podcast version of the show, hey, did you know this is also on YouTube? So if you want to watch me there and see me change in different outfits and every day, you can view that on YouTube as well. So the lesson in all of this was that despite all of those misgivings, the things that I wasn't happy with, I kept going. And I think this is a, a great lesson because there's so many points in life where we can talk ourselves out of something. And it's probably part of us, our brain, that's trying to protect ourselves, that we don't want our, our ego, we don't want to be um, harmed. We don't want people to criticize us. And so instead of putting yourself out there, your, your brain, your mind is protecting you and saying, well, don't, don't create that YouTube show. Don't do that podcast. Don't do that thing that will require you being out there. And it starts to do that. And, and the way that, especially like once you've started, that voice can basically start to cr criticize all of the ways that the, the thing is working. So in my case, my mind was coming up with all these things of like, oh, this isn't, this isn't perfect. It's not what you wanted it to be. It's not representing you. It's not, you're not, it's not your best yet. And despite all that, I kept going anyway, because what I did in those moments was I realized what those thoughts were doing. I realized those thoughts were simply me trying to protect me. And so I didn't let myself become dissatisfied. I allowed it. I allowed myself to keep going and not have those 
dissatisfactions be a reason to quit? So my suggestion to you is look at your life and ask, is there something that you haven't begun because you can think of all the reasons in advance that it won't be perfect? If you can, my suggestion is to let go of those and just get started. And then once you're started, be aware that there will be things that will come along that will remind you and say, oh, this isn't perfect yet. This isn't great yet. If you hear those, process them, know them for what they are. And if this is really meaningful to you, keep going at it. So that's it. My 60th episode. I'm so happy to be here. My third month. Thank you, as always, for listening to the show. Imperfections and all. Hopefully, over time, you see it getting better. I'm certainly, I can see it getting better. And you know what? Even if it's not perfect yet, I'm going to keep doing it. As always, thanks for being with me on the show today. If you like this show, please hit like and subscribe. That way you will get a new episode of Everyday A New Thought every day. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching.